Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. How are you? I hope you are well. Good. Uh, this is time for our delicious recipe, and today it's a real amazing recipe. This morning I found out this treasure on my garden, and uh, in addition to the classical pasta cooking class, today we'll I'll make uh, my delicious fried zucchini flour. Look, these are marvelous. So I'm checking the connection. Please let me know if you hear me well and if you see me well. I'm just uh, waiting that some people will join me in this new cooking class. And then I start uh, with the live. Just give me, okay, I share the, the broadcasting uh, in all my groups and then we can start. So, good. Please let me know if you hear me well, if you see me well. You can, uh, of course, like all my cooking classes. You can uh, write me a comment uh, and ask me a questions. I will be very happy to answer you. And uh, I usually answer you during the live. If I'm busy to cook, I, I will answer you at the end of this live session. And uh, if you have any doubts, any questions, uh, you would like any extra information, please write me and I uh, will answer to all your uh, requests. So for the new members of the groups, usually in the weekend, many people join the groups. Uh, I just introduced myself. I am Daniela Bucchi, and I am an Italian personal chef, and I live in Italy. I live in the central of Italy, in, Umbr in Umbria, uh, a small region border to Tuscany, and I live in a wonderful countryside. And uh, my passion is cooking, and uh, I am very happy and very um, lucky because uh, uh, my work is my passion. And for me, uh, every day is not working, it's just uh, a game. <laughs> so let's start. Uh, the first thing to do, I turn on my water to cook my pasta, my boiling just a few minutes okay to put to cook my pasta i use this kind of pasta because it is it is seem as snail look and uh, uh, usually the, the zucchini pool go inside uh, the pasta and uh, when i put in my mouth the, the pasta i have uh, veggies i have if i uh, use meat i have meat inside it is delicious so um, first of all, I prepare the pasta sauce because today it is a very hot day in Italy and uh, uh, I don't like to eat hot pasta in hot days. So I prepare before and then let it cooler and I'll eat my pasta tepid or cold. Uh, I love it in, in the summer days to, to eat uh, uh, tepid pasta or cold pasta. Then, when my pasta is ready, I start to prepare my fried zucchini flour and some and some zucchini fried zucchini. So let's start to prepare the zucchini and the, um, and, and zucchini flour sauce uh, pasta sauce. I start with an onion, as usual. I slice uh, this fresh onion. It came from my garden too. Not too much. I am alone this evening, and I would like to have uh, to enjoy my my, my fried zucchini flour. I put uh, the the onion in a pan. I had some olive oil. Okay, and I had also my zucchini. My water is bubbling, and I can put my pasta to cook. Good job. This kind of pasta cook in 10 minutes. My sauce is ready in eight minutes or less, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I start to dice my uh, zucchini. I already washed the zucchini and uh, I dice uh, 
in a medium cube like this. I'm, I apologize if I don't watch the camera while I'm cutting uh, uh, my veggies, but I would like to if I would like to avoid to cut my finger too. I hope you can understand me. And I'll use some of these veggies, just this. And I'll use this to fry because uh, I love a fried zucchini flour, but I love also sliced um, uh, fried courgette. It is the idea appetizer with a good glass of prosecco or a good glass of uh, fresh white wine. Good. I dice my courgette too. And that's it. And I put everything in my pan with the, the onion and go on the gas to cook it. Good. As many of you know, I love crunchy veggies. I don't like the very overcooked veggies and I cook just for a few minutes. And if I needed to add extra uh, liquid to help the, the cooking of veggies, I use some water of the pasta. I don't add extra olive oil or butter because uh, I prefer to have a light, uh, um, a light sauce, not too much heavy. Meanwhile, I start to, to chop the zucchini flour to put in my sauce, in my pasta sauce. I just chop in not regular pieces because when I put in the gas, they uh, disappear. <laughs> they remain just the orange color. So I remove the, the end. And that's it. And I'll add these to the zucchini and onion when the zucchini are almost ready. I had a pinch of salt and some pepper on my courgette. And then I'll check later if my uh, sauce is, uh, the, is good or not or about salt. So I use this other uh, zucchini flour to me to fry it. And um, uh, I have um, a, a personal receipt to make a very crunchy uh, zucchini flour and not soak it off oil because uh, the, the problem is when we prepare the zucchini flour that uh, um, they absorb a lot of uh, oil while while are cooking. They are cooking, and they are not crunchy. There are there is a, there are just one yes just one tips to make a very crunchy uh, fried zucchini flour and uh, not uh, soak the foil and later i'll show you what is my personal trip tips to uh, to obtain a very crunchy uh, zucchini flour so meanwhile my pasta sauce is cooking i'm slice the uh, the courgette the zucchini sorry like then is ready to to put on my Coverture to fry it. I slice not like this, not too thinny and not too bigger because um, they have to cook in very few minutes. Uh, just the time to put in the hot oil and put out. Uh, turn and put out. I love it. 
sorry again if I don't watch the camera, but it is the same problem before. I would like to avoid to cut my finger. So, and that's it. I'm checking my sauce again. I need a little bit of water. Good. They are cooking well. Look, they are fabulous, real fabulous. And I'm finished to cook and I'm waiting that uh, the other food is ready. So, uh, just a few information uh, for the new members. I remember you that uh, uh, on Thursday evening there will be another cooking class and I will be there with other, another receipt. Last week I made a delicious appetizer with the ham and pea cheese, um, ricotta cheese, and it was really, really good. Please uh, look for the, for the videos in the groups and watch the receipt. It is ready in really 10 minutes. It was a very fast live, I think 10, 15 minutes and the result was extraordinary. So, I'm checking if my, if the salt is good on my zucchini, and I check if they are cooked or not. Mm. They are delicious, salt is perfect. I have just to add the zucchini flour. Wow. And some extra water. The sauce is ready. I show you. Oh, I have my laptop. I think is a problem here. This is the result of my sauce. Let me check. Yes, this is the result of the sauce. It's ready and it's delicious. I'm so sad that you can't smell the flavor of this. And I'm waiting that my pasta is good, is ready or not. I'm checking because I think it could be ready. Not ready yet, it's very al dente, too much al dente. I had to wait one minute, one extra minute today, finish the cook. Meanwhile, I prepare, I already prepare some flour. It is a regular flour, and I'll mix that with another secret ingredient and some salt to make a couverture for my uh courgette uh, my um, zucchini flour because uh, if you put uh, your zucchini flour into the hot uh, oil to cook it to fry it uh, they completely burned and uh, you don't have uh, you have a very bad result you have to use a couverture uh, in Italian we say pastella and uh, we cover the, the, the veggies with this uh, mixture and, uh, and we put it in, in the hot 
oil to cook and the, the couverture outside became very crunchy, very crispy and saved the flavor of the veggies inside. I use the same couverture to, to zucchini, fried zucchini flour, to fry any kind of veggies. If you would like to fry some carrot, some cauliflower, some, uh, uh, I don't know, artichokes. Usually when I prepare fried artichokes, uh, I use this mixture because it is perfect for the fried artichokes. So I make some space to prepare um, my plate for the pasta. Uh, meanwhile, I would like to show you just a thing, this pan. This is a very old pan. I think it is more older than me. And I use it to fry my, my veggies. Uh, I think uh, uh, my mom used that for many years before uh, I was born, I I'm sure. And now I use it because uh, it's very useful and... Uh, uh, the, the fried food uh, is perfect to cook fried food. And it's not nice to see, but uh, it's very useful. And I think it is more older than me. Yes, I'm sure it is more older, more older than me. And then I use it to, to prepare the fried zucchini flour. So let me check the, uh, the pasta because I think now it could be ready. Uh, yes. Mm. Pasta is ready. Now I drain it and I put directly in the pan with the sauce. I have a piece of pasta. And now it's time to season my pasta. I would like to become a pro to, sal to salt food. Today is not a good day for me. I'll try again. I'll use a spatula. I let it absorb the little bit of water that because uh, this kind of pasta, when you drain it, there remain every time some water inside this pasta and uh, I let it evaporate. Wow, delicious. Good, look, this delicious pasta is really good. So I, I take my plate, my fabulous plate. I love this plate. And I'll prepare my portion of pasta. As I tell you at the beginning of the video, I, in summer, I prefer to eat tiep uh, pasta or cold pasta. And it is for this reason I prepare before pasta and then uh, uh, the rest of the food. Like now, look, it's delicious. It's real, real delicious. Now I let it, I let to cool it, to cool it a little bit. Uh, and I can eat later. If you want, you can add some uh, a sparkle of, par of parmesan on top or some pepper like you prefer. For me, it's, uh, it's good like this because uh, I added pepper before and I don't like parmesan cheese on a veggie sauce. So that's it. The first recipe for this evening is a delicious recipe. Now it's time to prepare our zucchini flour. Finally, finally.
I leave the plate there and I start with the other recipe. The first thing I have to do is to put this pan with sunflower olive oil. I use sunflower olive oil to fry, not uh, extra virgin olive oil, abundant sunflower olive oil. Okay. This is very abundant sunflower. Then I move the camera to the gas to give you a better idea about the quantity. And I turn on the gas because I have to, uh, to, heat, to, re to heat this olive oil. For my safety, I remove the water to avoid any accident. And I start to prepare the coverture of my uh, sunflower, zucchini flower. And the secret ingredient to have a crunchy zucchini flower is very cold freezing water. That's it. Is is a, a very easy tips, but uh, to have a good result, you have to use very cold, freezy water. So you add the water to the flour and mix. You have to make a, a coverture, a good coverture, not too much liquid, not too much solid, because if the coverture is too liquid it doesn't cover the, the food and if the coverture it is too too heavy it became hard to to fry something so uh, the the flour have to melt with the with the water i had a little bit of water little bit of time I don't have the, the exact uh, uh, grams of the, the, the exact quantity to make this. Uh, I add a little bit extra water. It is too much liquid now. And I'll add a little bit extra flour to compensate. Okay. It's very difficult to give you a quantity, how many flour, how many water, to make a good, uh, pastella. You have to check with your eyes the exactly consistency of the pastella. Now it's good. Look. That's it. Not too much liquid, not too much solid. The perfect mixture. Now I put my zucchini flour and my courgette in this mixture, like this. I cover each side. And then I go to, to fry it. When the, the, gar, the, oil, the sunflower oil is very hot, I'll put my veggies inside. I don't remove the final part of flour because uh, uh, in this, um, I, I avoid that the, the, uh, the oil go inside and they absorb it. So look, now I put some uh, uh, some courgette too. I cover all my veggies with this mixture. And then I go to check if my olive oil, my sunflower oil is good or not. I use this, try to drain 
て。We go on the we move the camera to to go to see better the frying uh, position. Uh, I am alone this evening as as usual. I have to move myself the camera. Sorry for my big face. So that's it. Look and. Uh, Let's go. I check if my sunflower oil, yes, it's ready. And I start to fry. Pay attention when you put your veggies in the hot water, in the hot oil. I put some a slice of zucchini too not only wow i love it i real love it i put my gas not too high because it burn outside and don't cook inside my veggies look that's a um, real real amazing while they are cooking i put extra uh, um, flour and uh, zucchini in my coverture like when i remove these i have other ready food to to put on my pan and i don't lose time wow I love this delicious sound. It is a real delicious sound. Now I turn, I check, I am broke if they are stick together. And um, it's not time to turn it, to turn the. I leave to cook. I have it to, to brown in both sides and uh, I move the pan in the, like this. And when my food, okay, I can turn it, pay attention. I love I love fry with my old pan, but I have to pay attention because it is a little bit dirty. If you have a fryer, is more better. You have to to cook in the both side because um, uh, the problem could be that uh, if the um, the, the veggies are not well done cooked. The, the pastella, the outside couverture remain not crunchy inside, outside. So let me check if there's some questions or not. No questions. Please, if you have any questions or, or uh, write me, I will be very happy to answer you. Look, delicious real real delicious they are ready they are ready to be trying it wow i love this delicious sound it's better than pavarotti i love it just a few seconds. Please don't use plastic uh, uh, um, utensils, plastic equipment to go in this uh, very hot uh, oil because they completely melt. So, 
And now it's time to add extra veggies. Go, go, and go. Gorget, zucchini. Look what delicious sound I have here. I have. And the last one for the moment. I didn't have extra food because I prefer eat that very hot and then fry it again if I, I need if I would like to have extra uh, food. Look very crunchy sound on. Mm. Delicious Bria delicious crunchy not so good of oil perfect real perfect mm. i don't know if you hear the crunchy of uh, this the courgette flour i'm eating i'm very lucky sorry for you Delicious, delicious. Mm. I'm checking if the time to turn. Not, it's not ready yet. Real delicious. It is one of my favorite plates uh, during the summertime. I really love it. I uh, yeah, I'm checking. But it's not time to. to turn it yet. Please, if you have any questions, ask me. I remember you, the, 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 the secret to make a very crunchy, crispy uh, fried zucchini flour. I use, for the coverture, regular flour, salt, and very cold freezy water the secret is to use very cold freezy water because the freezy the very cold freezy water when you put in the hot olive oil in the hot sunflower oil make a, um, a chemical um, process i don't i i don't know how, how to explain you and uh, transform the couverture in a crunchy couverture and it's delicious to to eat that look i'm just waiting to to cook my last pan of veggies and then i go to my terrace to have a delicious appetizer with a glass of prosecco and my fried veggies i can wait it i can wait it absolutely it is from this morning i'm uh, i i dream my dinner moment okay it's ready they are ready Wow. 
try to put out all the oil. It's not uh, too healthy that dish, but uh, it's a real, real delicious. I really love it. Good. Then we go to prepare our plate. Look, ah, delicious, real delicious. I can't wait to eat these delicacies. I really can wait. I'm arriving. I'm moving the camera. I'm back. Sorry for my big face. So look, and we go to prepare my delicious plate. I move the the fries, zucchini flour in this wonderful plate, and I go out. Look, and. Uh, Wow, and they are real crunchy, sound on. Mm. These are real, real crunchy. So I put everything here. And that's it. Mmm, look, my delicious plate, my delicious appetizer plate. This evening I have a wonderful dinner. So thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you appreciate it and you enjoy it. Please try to replicate it and post a video or a pictures of your result. I'm very happy to, to watch your result. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please put like and share and see you on Thursday evening at 7 p.m. for another delicious receipt. Bye, bye-bye.